put this controversial new science of neurotheology to the test. Dr. Michael Persinger claims that by stimulating the temporal lobes, he can artificially induce religious experience in almost anyone. Dr. Persinger has developed a device which produces an electromagnetic field across the temporal lobes. He says he can induce a moment that feels just like a genuine religious revelation with a machine unlike any other. Well, the helmet was basically designed to generate weak magnetic fields across the hemisphere, specifically the temporal lobe. So the way it's set up is that each pair of these solenoids are connected so that at any given time a magnetic field passes through the helmet and hence through the brain. Before the experiment could go ahead, Dr. Persinger took his subjects into a silent room where they were blindfolded. Don Hill had little idea of what he was about to go through as he entered the testing chamber. In the chamber, I had a number of experiences. My hands getting very clammy, um, waves of fear inexplicable that I couldn't put my finger on, um, tingling effects. Uh, rushes of energy up and down my spine, um, burping, <laughs> which is kind of embarrassing, uh, and a general feeling of malaise. But as Dr. Persinger manipulated the magnetic fields, Don began to get a very strange feeling. Um. A feeling that perhaps he was not alone. Oh, like my shoulders are very tense up to it's not so much I felt like there was somebody or something in the chamber with me, because my, my common sense told me that this could not be. But I could not get rid of the feeling that there was something there. It was lurking. It was watching me. I felt like I was under surveillance. And it was felt like coming from behind. You know, like, what's, what's over there? That's what it felt like. Yet... How could this be? There's nothing there. I'm, I'm in a space that's safe. Uh, my, my palms are sweating. I'm seeing this, this visual dips and dots. Hey, Don? Yes, hi. We're, we're coming in, okay? Just relax. Sure, thank you. Don had experienced one of the most common and bizarre effects in the chamber, a feeling that someone else was in there with him. Dr. Persinger called this feeling the sensed presence. The fundamental experience is the sense presence, and our data indicates that the sense presence, the feeling of another entity, of something beyond yourself, perhaps bigger than yourself, bigger in space and bigger in time, can be stimulated by simply activating the right hemisphere, particularly the temporal lobe. To ensure that it was genuinely the electromagnetic field that caused the sensed presence, Dr. Persinger ran the experiment with the field switched both off and on. Crucially, no one was told what the true purpose of the experiment was, merely that it was to do with relaxation. When the results came back, they were impressive. When the machine was on, 80% sensed something. Dr. Persinger has taken his research a stage further. 